Greetings, YouTubers. It is uh, Tuesday, May 26th, 2020, and I am camped at the base of Blanca Peak in uh, south central Colorado, uh, very near the town of Alamosa, and uh, <clears throat> towards the west, and then Blanca, the town of Blanca, towards the uh, east. And I've uh, been looking at property out here. I've reached out to a couple of realtors. Right, I was traveling here. Um, Last week, I left, um, what was that, Sitgreaves National Forest, uh, Heber, Arizona, and, and headed here for uh, Colorado. And um, I've, I've camped here before, and I think I've got an old uh, review video that I did. I went back and looked at it. Man, it's, it just seems so different. You ever go back and look at like old videos of yourself and kind of go, wow, was, was that me? <laughs> what, a, what a dork. <laughs> I'm still a dork, but um, I'm a dorkable. <laughs> How do you get a hold of yourself, Flood? So, um, so anyway, uh, I'm camped here at the base of Blanca Peak, and I've been looking at property. I've reached out to a couple of realtors. Nothing solidified yet. You know, I've got um, some cash in my pocket, and I'm, I'm ready to buy, man. I'm, but, and I'm not getting a whole lot of, um, you know, a whole lot of feedback from uh, from the realtors I've reached out to. So, I don't know what the deal is there. But, anyway, it's a beautiful area. I've taken a couple of photographs. I'm going to edit some of those together and string them at the uh, end of the video, as usual. And a couple of short, uh, you know, B-roll kind of stuff. Just to kind of give you a feel for the area. It's a beautiful area. I love it here. Wide open spaces. you got this... 14,300 and some odd foot mountain that's just to the east of where I'm camped. And um, weather comes over it sometimes and involves that mountain and it's just impressive. As uh, Darth Vader would have said. Impressive. Okay, I can cut that out. Maybe. <laughs> but anyway, um, haven't seen a whole lot of, you know, like really dramatic weather, but a little bit. And I got a couple of photographs, so I'll, I'll put those up. Finished the uh, drawing that I started in, in Heber, and I'll try and get some shots of that to show you. And um, other than that, uh, probably going to be here for another week. I think, um, I think my 14 days is up a week from tomorrow. And then if uh, the weather in Leadville is good, I'm going to head up there. And spent some time in Leadville. I was there a couple of years ago as well, and uh, really liked it. <clears throat> it's it's high altitude, like ten thousand feet, but um, it's such a beautiful area, heavily treed, you know, very alpine, typical Rockies, Colorado, that kind of thing. And then uh, from there, I'm going to head to um, Pawnee National Grasslands, and uh, and camp out there again. Hopefully, uh, spend some time with my girls and my my new grandson. So, hi kids, love you, and um, and then I'm gonna head to Idaho. So uh, plans haven't changed a whole lot, and um, you know I'm still loving this, still loving the life. Um, you know I, I probably would have said a couple of years ago everybody should do this. <clears throat> um, I think I would stand by this. I think everybody should do this, it's simply because it's it's much less pressure on the environment. You know, I use a gallon of water a day, sometimes a little more, like if I'm bathing or showering or whatever. But, um, I, you know, I don't use electricity from a grid. I haven't plugged in still. And I've been on the road for two years, across my two-year anniversary. May 11th was my two years on the road. And I have not plugged into a, a generator or, a, you know, a wall socket on the grid in all that time. So... All of that kind of a segue to say that I think everybody should do this because I think it's a better way to live. It's um, it's just a less pressure on the environment, but it's so outside of the American paradigm. <laughs> it just I don't think most people could do this. They they would seriously miss their sticks and bricks, and you know, and in all honesty, I'm moving back to probably a sticks and bricks sort of solution, but it's going to be on acreage. And it's going to be a small house, 600 square feet, um, and um, you know maybe a little bigger, but and it'll all be solar. I'll be off grid. Um, 
uh, probably end up having to buy water and truck it in, which is not optimum, but you know, I'm doing that now, and if I'm using a gallon a day, a single truckload of water will last me a decade. <laughs> so, um, still, my footprint, my use of limited Terran resources, if I can say that, is going to still be small. Um, and if I'm staying put, I'm not even using gasoline to travel anymore. I think I'll continue to travel. I, I know I'll continue to travel. I like traveling. I like going to different places. But, you know, maybe the winter months will be travel months because I can't really grow. And then summer months I'll probably either be working on building the house. I'm going to build it myself. And um, and growing my own food. I'm going to have a garden and and uh, grow my own food. And... and uh, LM, I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm starting to eat it. I'm trying to start to eat healthier. I'm not doing very good at it, but I'm trying. I really am. Um, you know, my joints are just starting to hurt so much, and and um, and I'm looking for ways to get rid of that. My blood pressure is still high. It's I had 186 over 109 uh, this morning. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. And uh, there are some things that, you know, help bring it down. And, um, you know, I've given up caffeine as of this morning. I haven't had any caffeine today. And I'm, you know, not going to have any caffeine. Giving up sugar. So um, we'll see how those things work over long term. Looking for other foods that will help uh, lower blood pressure. I think a lot of it is just I've been kind of sedentary the last couple of months doing a lot of drawing and that kind of thing. So I need to get out and moving more so that's also uh, in my plan so anyway i i digress yet again so here at blanca peak loving it weekend was kind of crazy memorial weekend lots of atvs people coming by at 50 miles an hour on this dirt road kicking up a boatload of dirt dust that was the <laughs> I'm back on that soapbox, soapbox again, aren't I? Oh well. I actually, I actually said this something to somebody as they raced by. Slow down! They didn't listen, of course. But anyway, the weekdays are not bad. So the place is empty. Not a lot of ATVs or traffic going by on the road. So it's, it's all good. Anyway, that's all I got. Nothing, nothing uh, more new to report, I guess. Alpacool refrigerator still doing awesome. I go to bed at 13 volts, wake up at 12.6. So, yep. All right, guys, questions, comments, you know the drill. Just put them down below. And you know I'm pretty good about responding, so. Um, thanks again for watching. That's all I can say. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys always. And um, 